All right, let's get back to the news here for a minute. We actually got an update on a story from a little earlier this week. It's about people who found they couldn't access money in their Chase bank accounts because the company flagged them. And if you're out of work right now, you're going to want to listen to this because Kristen Severance found out that the only thing these people did to get locked out was deposit their unemployment checks. We first told you about Karen Crater's story on Wednesday. She and her family had no access to their own money until I contacted Chase. Chase is freezing or closing accounts due to a massive unemployment imposter fraud, where scammers are stealing millions of dollars in unemployment benefits. But I learned Oregonians legitimately receiving unemployment are getting caught up in this too and being blocked from their money. When you saw Karen's story, what went through your mind? It, I was honestly, it was like reading what happened to me, exactly what happened to me. Amber Purcell couldn't access her money in her Chase bank account for three months. All my unemployment checks had only gone to that bank account. So then they have said, well, we're investigating the unemployment. Tough for anyone, especially because she takes care of her three year old nephew. And I had called multiple times and I was like, you know, there's a three year old involved, like to buy food for, you know, diaper, like whatever I have to buy for him. And you guys are like taking from him. And it, they no one cares. It's ridiculous that it's already happening to more people. Leandro Garduno has no access to the money in his Chase account either. I don't know their reason. They just said that the government tagged my checks as fraud and they restricted my account. He had applied for unemployment in March and received all 12 checks at once. He thought the bank may have flagged his account because he deposited all the checks at the same time. And I thought that was the reason. And then it turns out other people have gone their account shut down, even depositing one check. Both Amber and Leandro contacted me after seeing Karen Crater's story. Karen was locked out of her account for days over unemployment fraud concerns. I feel as though Chase is treating us like criminals and we are not criminals. All three people said they received the runaround from Chase when trying to get answers and access to their money. We knew this was happening in Washington. The unemployment claims for nearly 200,000 Washington workers had been flagged over the summer after that massive unemployment imposter scheme. Several Chase customers reported being locked out of their accounts, too. Both Chase and the state of Washington said they were investigating. Between $550 million to $650 million has been lost in this unemployment imposter scam so far. After we alerted the Oregon Employment Department that these problems were now happening in Oregon, they reached out to the Chase Fraud Department. The Oregon Employment Department told me the OED checks are being flagged as fraud by a Chase Bank algorithm due to the high number of people cashing or depositing their unemployment. OED said they'll do their best to help people with this problem. If you could say something to Chase Bank, what would you say? I don't think you want to know what I would say. And I'm going three months without my money because why? I said, what if this happened to you? Would you just sit back and not say anything? I reached out to Chase Bank. A spokesperson told me, as reported, the government is investigating potential fraud relating to unemployment insurance benefits to protect us, our customers, or to meet legal requirements. We have restricted some accounts pending further review. They are looking into these new complaints. We'll keep you posted.